evening and thank you for joining us. A major turnaround from Premier Doug Ford and his government today agreeing to repeal Bill 28. That prompted CUPE education workers to end their strike and both sides will now return to the bargaining table. Local CUPE members were happy to hear the news but say their work isn't done. Asilio Spellos reports. We're going back to the bargaining table and get a fair deal for everybody. It was a win in the eyes of CUPE local 2486 members protesting out front of MPP Kevin Holland's office after the Ford government announced it would be repealing Bill 28. Many gathered around each other's phones to watch the big announcement, which will mean QP and the province will return to the bargaining table. In exchange for the repealing of Bill 28, QP has agreed to dissolve their strikes, effective Tuesday. QP Local 2486's head steward Devin Clausen says this is an important step, but their work is not done. No, it's great to see that uh, they're rescinding the bill. Obviously, the amount of support and pressure that we put on this government worked. Uh, but again, this is a bill that should have never been passed in the first place. It is a road that the government didn't have to go down. And uh, it's glad that, I'm glad to see that they see the error in their ways. But I want to be clear that our workers still intend to have a fair deal negotiated with, with us. CUPE Local 2486 represents about 150 education workers with the Lakehead Board, including custodians, cafeteria workers, and maintenance staff. Vice President Rob Jewett says he's excited to return to the bargaining table and wants the public to recognize the important work their members carry out. Every day starts with a QP member and it ends with a QP member. Um, you know, in terms of building security, the health and safety of it, uh, cleaning, the, the maintenance, uh, basically taking care of the entire building and making sure everybody in it's safe and healthy. There was excitement down here when the news broke that Bill 28 would be rescinded by the four government. And while protests are expected to dissolve tomorrow, members down here vowed that they would return to the picket line if a fair deal could not be reached. Vasilios Bellows, TVT News.